Hello. Greeting. Uh, first of all, it's my pleasure to be invited as a speaker for the dermatol for the fifteenth International Dermatology, Cosmetology, and Allergy Summit, which is hosted by Science Technology Control Conferences. Um, I'm Dr. Gada Al Hibeli, consultant dermatology, laser and cutaneous surgeon. I worked in dermatology department at Faculty of Medicine um, in Kasim University. Um, which is located in Saudi Arabia, our beautiful country. My talk will be about our recent publication, which is a vitamin D levels in patients with and without acne and its relation to acne severity, a case control study. And this article has been published in the in uh, uh, our respective journal, Clinical Cosmetic and Investigational Dermatology. 2020 and first of all I have no disclosure to say we know vitamin D plays a significant role in the function of immune system and it influences many dermatological diseases such as psoriasis and atopic dermatitis the prevalence of vitamin D deficiency is growing globally with around 30 to 50 of people are known to low to have low levels of vitamin D Acne vulgaris is a common inflammatory disorder of the pilospecious unit. Studies about the role of vitamin D in the pathogenesis of acne vulgaris have shown conflicting and non-conclusive results. Thus, the precise purpose of vitamin D has not yet been established. Our objective from the study we are first to evaluate serum levels of vitamin D through a representative sample of patients with acne vulgaris and compare it with matched healthy controls. Second, to investigate if there is a relationship between serum vitamin D level and the severity of acne vulgaris. This is a cross-sectional study which included 68 patients with acne vulgaris and 50 matched healthy controls. It was conducted in winter season to minimize the effect of seasonal variation on serum vitamin D levels all subjects in patient group as well as the control group had not taken any vitamin D supplementation and not suffering from any comorbidities or complications from vitamin D deficiency. Both groups had undergone complete physical examination and clinical examination and biochemistry tests for serum vitamin D level. Serum vitamin serum uh, 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels were measured for both patients and health controls. Our inclusion criteria were all fem all male and female patients with diagnosis of acne vulgaris according to the global acne grading system GAGS score. And the exclusion criteria were pregnant and breastfeeding, OCPs, postmenopausal patients on steroids, systemic steroids, or any medications that affect uh, vitamin D metabolism uh, or could affect it, like ketoconazole, rifambin, phenytoin, and isonazide, patients on vitamins, vitamin D supplementation or multivitamins in general, patients are suffering from who are suffering from active malignancy or other chronic disease systemic diseases, patients on regular medication for other diseases, and also all patients who have history of oral isotretinoin over the last three months were excluded also from the study. Acne grading was classified as mild, moderate, and severe according to the um, to the grading system, which is uh, which is shown in the reference uh, down. Mild as mild, moderate, and severe. The results. The results of the study included 68 patients with acne vulgaris, 41 females and 27 males plus 50 healthy controls, 26 females and 24 females as shown in this baseline demographic data. Uh, our results had shown a statistical difference between the two groups serum vitamin uh, D concentration, which was higher in healthy subjects than uh, acne vulgaris patients with p-value 0.003 which is significant. 
Also, we determined no significant relationship between sun exposure, gender, and serum concentration of vitamin D in acne vulgaris patients, which is equal to uh, the p-value equal to 0.199. Also, the results of the study showed that there were no significant variations in vitamin D serum concentrations among acne vulgaris groups, mild, moderate, and severe, with p-value 0.067 not significant. Since the aim is to analyze vitamin D status in patients with acne, our results showed that there was no relationship between sun exposure and improvement in vitamin D readings in patients with acne vulgaris with p-value 0.456 and this is between positive and negative sun exposure in acne vulgaris patients. This can be explained by several factors such as the impact of psychological distress on their avoidance of spending extended periods outdoors uh, because of shining and dis disturbed body, Im um, body image. This suggests a possible explanation of low vitamin D levels in patients with acne vulgaris. These results were consistent with, uh, with the result in, in other studies like Lim et al. who revealed that lower level of serum vitamin D in severe acne vulgaris patients might be due to psychological stress. There are several biological mechanisms by which vitamin D induced, induces uh, its anti-inflammatory effects. These mechanisms support the theory of immunoregulatory function of vitamin D and the anti-inflammatory effects of it in acne patients. First, vitamin D inhibits QT bacterium acne induced T helper 17 differentiation. Second, indeed reducing the expression of interleukin 17 uh, uh, um, which is an inflammatory cytokine that found to be increased in acne patients. Third, vitamin D also reduces the expression of inflammatory cytokines in cultured cytocytes such as interleukin-6 and interleukin-8 plus matrix metalloproteinase 9. Fourth and last, other mechanism, uh, uh, mechanisms are exerting antimicrobial uh, effects by inducing antimicrobial beta such as interleukin-37 in human sebocytes. So, in conclusion of our study, our study revealed that uh, revealed a statistical significant low serum vitamin D levels in patients with acne vulgaris. This highlights the importance of screening patients with acne for vitamin D insufficiency and deficiency. Further clinical trials on a larger scale are needed to address the importance of vitamin D in acne vulgaris. The authors also might suggest a possible role of vitamin D treatment in acne, this necessitating further clinical trials to determine whether the treatment of acne with both topical vitamin D analogs and vitamin D supplementation is of significant effect. Thank you for your listening and goodbye.